Viruses like this one cause illnesses and death for tens of millions of people each year. Its spikes allow it to attach to and enter cells where it reproduces. Identifying which virus or bacteria is causing illness is in large part based on the symptoms and an educated guess from a doctor. This can be followed up with a test to confirm the diagnosis, but the current approach is slow and often expensive. That's why researchers in Singapore have developed a chip which can be plugged into an existing DNA analysis machine. As a result, a single sample from a patient, perhaps a saliva or a blood sample, can be checked for 70,000 different viruses and bacteria. Each of these tests currently costs between $20 and $200, so to be able to do the lot for just $450 represents a massive advance. There are some patients, uh, about 10% of them, uh, after being in the hospital for two weeks, uh, they still remain uh, undiagnosed and they're still sick. And uh, about 25 to 30 percent of hospital beds are taken up by these uh, infectious disease patients. So if you are able to figure out the diagnosis early, you could give them the correct treatment early. And, and then uh, both the patient, the insurers, as well as the hospital would all uh, save money because there will be a shorter patient stay. The CHIPS developers are waiting for US government approval before it can be used for anything more than research. But with a growing number of bird flu cases in China and tightening health budgets around the world, some hospitals have already placed their orders. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.